Okay guys, here's the quick review I said I would do of the Allegiance Arts books. Um, took me seven Walmarts to find it at, which I don't know why I kept trying so hard to find them. Uh, but they were not in with the books and periodicals. They were in with electronics right next to a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade game. Uh, luckily, the one I got it from, they don't do the stickers. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do, um, I just got three. I got Red Rooster, Futurist, Norisaga, because nothing against Bass Reeves, but I just don't like Western comics. Um, there's very few Western movies that I like. The closest thing to Westerns I like is uh, Firefly. So I didn't get it, I, also because I didn't really like the art style in it. But, uh, so here we go, uh, Red Rooster, it's what, it, you know, what Mitch promised us, um, story-wise anyway, uh, cause this is not a graphic novel, so what he promised we have not gotten, so I've paid five bucks for something that I've already paid for, which I know is a boat of contention for a lot of people, um, but yeah, I will not get it. If what we all paid for in the Indiegogo is not out before issue two, I will not be getting issue two. And uh, I know it's, they started a new company and whatever, and I know it takes a lot of time and blah, blah, blah. But uh, two years is too much. That's just my take on it. But other than that, it's uh, a beautiful book. Um, not a big fan of the paper stock. It's very... Uh, not porous, but it feels like if uh, if it got too humid, it would turn into paper mache. It just feels kind of cheap, um, especially for five bucks. Uh, but the story looks great, the art's great, the coloring's great. Um, definitely still invested in Red Rooster, but if Mitch doesn't write the ship, uh, I'm out. Uh, I'm, I just don't care. So... Let me get to the Futurists. Uh, this should be an awesome, great book. Um, too many people look alike in it. Uh, everybody's got a mustache. Hard to tell who's who. And the coloring in this book, it's its so dark. It's so, like, everything's got this magenta wash over it, which makes me feel like it's a, a Marvel comic. Um... The coloring isn't really... It, I almost feel like it was an afterthought. It's just... I don't know. I had a lot of hope for it. Um, Butch Geist is also always good, but... I'll give it another go. Another issue to see what happens. Um, hopefully when they get in costume, we'll be able to tell who the hell is who. Um, but, uh... Yeah... I'd give it a, right now I'd give it a C. Red Rooster, I'd give it a, I would give it an A if uh, that was the graphic novel I'd pay for, but it's not. So that gets a B. That gets a C, just because the coloring ruined it. Nora Saga saw, suffers from the same problem. Um, the coloring is just too dark. It's too dark. It, I don't know if it's the paper that's making it too dark. A lot of times... Uh, selection of paper is key guys um, it'll absorb too much ink and just muddy up everything but it is so muddy color wise I just ugh. I mean the story is is okay it's definitely um, uh, it's definitely made for a younger audience but I still enjoyed it um, Kelsey Shannon's art is is awesome I just it, again it's the coloring kind of ruined it. Um, so I'll give this a C plus, but I'll give this one another shot too. Um, like I said, I, I'm not going to do Bass Reeves because I, I just have no interest in, in Westerns. Uh, so, so far, yeah, it's my kids in the background. Um, not off to a great start, guys. Um, for all the, the hoopla and the you know, oh, we're, we're building this great thing, we're building this great thing. 
still feels kind of rushed. So, but that's my review. Uh, thumbs up uh, if you can. Thumbs down. Please subscribe. That's it. Yeah. There's my kids in the background. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.